Hello YouTube, uh, just a quick review on the Stinger and it's the SK4281 amp wiring kit. Uh, this is the copper uh, grade one OFC, uh, tinned copper, um, so it's not CCA. Uh, it's very nice uh, quality and it's very flexible as well, you can actually feel it. Uh, it comes with these terminals pre-crimped uh, and then they give you some inside to so after you run it you can crimp them on and connect it up. Uh, it comes with a nice AGU fuse holder with a 60 amp fuse inside uh, and this is rated at 600 watts. Uh, so check your amp uh, whether it's that much power. Uh, overall, it's very really nice build quality. Uh, they also do other gauges as well, which are really nice as well. As you can see, that's a picture of a 4 gauge kit. Uh, also, uh, this one is not made in China, it's made in Taiwan. So, I'm hoping the quality is slightly better, as you can see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to fit this in just on a, a single amp to a single sub and I'll see how it goes. Uh, I'll make some more videos when I've got that set up. But uh, that's what you get inside. So you got power wire, ground wire. Uh, you get a, a remote turn on wire and I believe this one because it's just an amplifier kit you don't get an RCA in this this is just purely to power up your amplifier so you do need to buy a separate uh, RCA lead uh, so yeah just make sure this is not like a full wiring kit it's just to cover your power uh, so you will need an RCA if you're running RCA but if you are doing high level input, so from your factory ed unit, you could then just go from your speakers and go into your high level on your amplifier. So in that case, you wouldn't need RCA. So yeah, it just depends on your installation. Uh, but for what I am using it for, uh, I'm going to be using this in and an RCA cable uh, straight to the ed unit. But yep, yeah, that's all. And if you um need any more info just ask in the comment section okay thanks youtube